you know, when you have this device that basically is like a 24 hour singles bar in your pocket at all times, it, it's, it can be a little bit debilitating, that, that amount of choice. This is a situation I get into all the time. I'll text a girl, she texts me back right away. I text her back right away. She texts me back right away. I text her. The rules of dating have changed. I text her back right away. She texts me back right away. Then I'll say something like, all right, cool. So you want to get pizza on Tuesday? And then I don't hear anything. And I'm like, what just happened? I know you read that. Sexting, swiping, Tinder and texting. American stand-up comedian and actor Aziz Ansari tries to make sense of it all in his new book, Modern Romance. Best known for his role as a failed Lothario in the acclaimed Parks and Recreation. One week without screens. No phone, tablets, computers, television, anything. No, please send me to jail. He's travelled the world with sociologist Eric Kleinenberg to examine the challenges of dating in a digital age. From waiting for the ping of a text which never comes, to ending up happy ever after. But imagine if marriage didn't exist and you're a guy and you ask a woman to get married. Imagine what that conversation would be like. You'd be like, uh, hey, so, um, you know, we've been hanging out together all the time, spending a lot of time together and everything. Yeah, yeah, I know. I want to keep doing that till you're dead. <laughs> well, Aziz Ansari came into our New York studio earlier and I began by asking him if online dating could ever be romantic. You might find some of his language a little colourful. I always thought it was kind of a weird way that people kind of act like, oh, if you meet someone in person, like, oh, it's so romantic. Like, like really? Like, at some drunk bar? Like, you know, that's like this romantic story. So, you know, I don't really buy into that. Do you think there's a danger that with so much choice, we end up choosing all the time, always thinking some, the grass is greener somewhere else? When you have more options, you think your instinct is that's better because you have more options to choose from. But in reality, when you have more options when you're making a decision, it's harder to make uh, a choice, and when you do, you're often less satisfied because you're scared that maybe you picked the wrong thing. And it's easier to keep swiping, isn't it? That's the nature of online dating. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, when you have this device that basically is like a 24-hour singles bar in your pocket at all times, it, it's, it can be a little bit debilitating, that, that amount of choice. I mean, you met your current girlfriend in the very old-fashioned way. Uh, you know, you know, when you're doing this analysis of, of online dating, did you ever think, yeah, I'd definitely try that next time? Not assuming well, there's going to be I a mean, next time. I mean, I'm like a... Well, yeah, uh, well, I think, you know, if you're a, a public figure, if people recognize you, I, it's not quite the same experience. And, I, uh, you know, I'd probably get uh, stalked by some Indian guy who was a fan or something, so I don't think I could do it myself. Because yeah. one of the criticisms of online dating has been that it's made it easier for people to cheat. Uh, gathering data on cheating is so weird. You know, it's hard to get an honest answer from people when you're going around like, hey, are you, uh, are you messing around on your spouse? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> so I think it's a little hard to get accurate data on it, but I do think you can't deny, like with a phone, you have this very private world where you could be texting someone while you're sitting next to your spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend. And of course, one of the criticisms of, of sites like Tinder is that, you know, it, in a sense, Makes, makes relationships, if you say, makes buying sex like buying a pizza. I mean, do you think it's just a valid part of the landscape now? I mean, however you met, uh, you know, your spouse, at some point you saw their face and were like, oh, looking at that face makes, makes my mind feel nice. That feels good on my head. I'm going to go say something to this person and, and they'll say something back. And if I like those things, we'll eventually... Uh, you know, start boning or something. <laughs> and so you need to me, like, that's what Tinder is. It's the same, it's the same thing. It's, it's just seeing someone's face and they're nearby and you say you like the face and then you talk to them. So to me, it's really just kind of a, a, an age old thing just transformed into a new medium. Okay, thank you very much for joining us, Aziz Ansari.